What's the word with everybody? I'm good, man. Good, good. Hey, we're going to get going here. So, Cheryl Ray, why don't you lead us off with the first one, please? Hi, Zach. Congratulations. Can you hear me? Yeah. How are you okay. doing? Okay, good. I, um, what was the, besides the money, what was the main reason why you wanted to return to the Chicago Bulls? And what did the management tell you that piqued your interest to return? I mean, Chicago's my home. I think we we built something over the last, um, well, at least for me, I've been here for five years, and over the last two, three, built something, and um, being able to come back is, you know, a cornerstone piece, and, and allowing them to, you know, get some of my insight and some of my input, and you know, pretty much constructing the roster, um, you know, to help me and you know help us win um, was really big for me. Thank you. Joe, go ahead. Zach, how you doing? What's the word, boss? How you doing? Hey, um, real quick, I mean, obviously you've never been one that's gotten caught up in pressure, especially financial pressure. This contract, though, is a, is a different animal. I just put you in the upper echelon, the elite, as far as, as pay. Do you – how do you tackle that? How do you feel like you have to live up to that max contract guy, both offensively, defensively, leadership? I mean, what, what does that all mean to you, and what does that entail? I think it's just a credit to my hard work. I think I've, I've had the same work ethic and the same goals that, you know, before the contract, after the contract, I was, you know, striving for it, you know, when I was on my rookie deal. So – you know, there's no extra added pressure. It's just who who I am and, you know, what goals and what things I want to reach with and, you know, how much better can we get as a team. But there's no added pressure. I think it's just a, you know, this is just a compliment of a lot of hard work and, you know, showing what type of player I am. Jamal, go ahead. Yo, Zach, what's up, man? Congratulations. What's up? Thank uh, you. Just uh, the, I'm just curious your thoughts on the offseason that y'all have had and basically continuity has been the big word for the guys in the front office and, and bringing this core back for a second year. Uh, I'm curious to see your thoughts on that idea of keeping everything together and how eager are you to to get this team back on the floor? And obviously y'all didn't really have it at the end of the season. Y'all weren't all healthy. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, we're it, it was tough because we started off so good and we could see the the, the ceiling and, and the, the goal of the team in the, in the first half of the season. But injuries happen, and you obviously want to see a full roster and a full team all the way through. Um, yeah, I think we had some key additions already, um, and guys like Goran and Drummond. So it's, um, you know, I think it's going to be good, you know, as long as as long as guys stay healthy, you know, I think that's the biggest thing for any team. I, it's, uh, you know, we get to go back at it again. Rob Schaefer, go ahead. Yeah, Zach, just I think the last time we talked to you, you were still deciding on what next steps were going to be with the knee. Uh, obviously, the surgery happened a few months ago. Um, I'm just wondering, hoping you could let us know what exactly that entailed, what, what they did exactly to the knee, and then how you're feeling physically now. Has it impacted your – you know, off-season training. It was their rehab process, um, just all that type of stuff. Yeah, no, I feel great. Just had a just a run-of-the-mill knee scope, um, going there, clean some stuff out. I, I feel way better. I've been rehabbing, um, working out, playing, lifting, doing all the all the good stuff and boring stuff too. I, you know, you have to start slow, like always. But it's um, it's been good, and I feel I feel really good. And you know, over the next two months, you know. Getting back into the season, obviously, uh, I feel like I'm going to be even better. Cody, you got the next one here. Zach, I was just curious about, I think, the 18 hours or so that you were a free agent before it got announced that you were coming back. Did you have a big dinner with the Bulls? Who would you meet with from the Bulls? What What was that like? Yeah, I sat down with, uh, you know, I sat down with Mark and AK after I, after I signed and um, had a really, really, uh, really good dinner, Billy as well. And I obviously want to thank them for, you know, the work that they put in with helping bringing me back. And it, it was, you know, it was, it was really fun, um, being able to sit down and, and go through everything, talk everything out. And then, you know, obviously celebrate and have a good dinner and, um, have them pay for uh, some expensive wine. Did you take a meeting with another team? No. Why not? You mentioned that you were going to look at all your options and then it focused back to the Bulls. And I think we understand a lot of that, but just kind of what would in, what went into that? 
Um, you know, I, I went into off season with an open mind, and you know, I laid out my goals. You know, just like I always have, and you know, once I was able to meet with Mark and AK, and they came to me with everything that I wanted, there was no other reason for me to you know go outside and look at any other teams. That's, I think that's that have been you know, for me, disrespectful on my end because, you know, they gave me everything I asked for and, you know, everything on the table that I looked at, you know, had Chicago as all the pros. So, um, you know, I did my due diligence on my own time as well and, and looked at things and, and, and made a decision for me and my family. But, you know, my heart was in Chicago. Thank you. Sam Smith, you're up. <clears throat> Zach, how, how do you look at this sort of, you know, in your life where you come from, you know, you were the centerpiece of this trade, this huge trade, Jimmy Butler, and uh, you come to the Bulls and you can't play. You know, and you have the most serious injury or one of the most serious injuries that a basketball player can have, an ACL, and you're coming off that to get to where you have been with this contract, as significant it is, and the All-Star Olympic, all that. How do you look back over the, this period? Uh, can you believe it's come to this? Um. You know, I just think it's a journey and you got to take everything in stride. Obviously, you can't control everything with injuries, being traded, whatever it is. But, you know, I could always control my demeanor, my work ethic and, you know, what I brought to the game. So um, I always picture myself as as the player I am and the player I'm going to be and continue to strive to be. And, you know, what comes with that is, you know, being compensated at that, at that level and, you know, I'm, I'm very proud of myself and my family for, you know, getting to this point. Uh, do you look at it all like, I mean, not like, like you said, not that you didn't expect it, but you can't believe that your dreams are achieved to have reached this point in, uh, in your professional life? I feel like when you do goal setting, um, if you don't if you don't put those things out there and really, you know, believe that you can get there, it's not going to happen. So, um not to say that I wasn't, you know, extremely excited and, you know, anxious for the opportunity, but, you know, it, it was something that I, I looked forward to when I set my goals and saw myself at, at this point in my career at one point. KC, go ahead, please. Hey, Zach, I'm curious what you think about the overall landscape of the East, how, how some teams improved on paper, and where you think you guys stack up in that landscape. Yeah, I mean, people don't move each and every year and there's still a lot of, a lot of movement. I think that can happen during the off season. Um, and it's just teams trying to get better and better. And, you know, I think we are trying to do the same thing as well. Um, you know, we added some additions, but, you know, pretty much had the same core and guys intact and, and wanted to run it back. I think that's what AK and, and Mark wanted to, you know, go after and really see what this team was like uh, whole and healthy. So, you know, I'm fine with it. You know, I understood, you know, how good we were in the first half of the year, but we got to put two halves together and, you know, really go after it. So I'm, I'm excited for the for the competition. Yeah. And following up on that, we've been hearing about continuity since since February, since they stood pat at the trade deadline. What does that say to you, you guys as players that management has a, that much faith in you guys when you guys are whole? Yeah, it's always better, you know, when you get to know each other, like, you know, the word continuity you guys are saying, but, you know, familiarity that I that I use and getting chemistry on the court, that doesn't just happen in one, two years. You know, all the good teams and teams that make deep playoff runs each and every year know each other and have been together for a while. So I think that's something that you can, you know, definitely establish and grow from. Mike McGraw, go ahead. Hey, Zach, do you have a, a child that's uh, going to be on the way soon? How do you feel about that? No, I'm extremely excited. It's, uh, you know, with me and my wife having, you know, the upcoming first child, um, I'm, I'm extremely excited. You know, obviously the relationship I have with my father and looking forward to taking on that challenge and seeing what that part of my life is. So, and that's, that's bigger than basketball, it's bigger than everything. And, um, you know, that's, Nervous, anxious, excited, all in the same thing. This, I know how to play basketball. This is something I haven't done yet, so I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Joe Cowley, go ahead. Zach, hey, uh, piggybacking off the, the, a couple questions about continuity and bringing this team back kind of as is, um, when you see the East, especially the top four teams, do what they did, 
is that, I mean, when you had your meeting, were you all for, hey, yeah, let's just bring it back and, and, and health will be the difference in, in catching up with those four teams? And then also you talked about when you met with them that, you know, they put a lot on the table. Was there plans, you know, look, Vooch is one more year, tomorrow a couple more years. Did they go down the road of, hey, this is what we want to be in three years with you. This is what we want year four to look like. I mean, was it that? drawn out where, where they said, this is the, this is the plans we have. I mean, obviously Mark and AK have the plans for the future. When we were talking about my contract, that's what we were talking about. And um, obviously within the next year or so with the guys on the team and bringing them back. Um, but we need to upgrade. And I think we tried to go out there and do it just like everybody else. We, we have shortcomings on our team, just like every team in the NBA that you want to try to fill gaps and, and get better at. So, um, you know, I think that's what we tried to do, but as a long-term thing, no, I didn't, you know, I can't see into the future and I'm not them. That's not my job. Arnold, go ahead. Yeah, thanks, Matt. What's up, Zach? Congratulations. I appreciate you feel, it. You feel like you made it? Feel like I made it? No, I've, I've been felt like I made it. You know, I just, uh, this is just something that, like I said, is token of respect. Um, you know, them viewing me as the type of player that I've been for the last four years and, you know, continue to see in the future, you know, what I, what I can bring to the table. So you know, I'm happy, I'm excited. And, you know, I'm, like I said, working with me to bring me back, you know, it was great. With, with, with this now behind you, you know, this chapter officially in the books, what are your goals now? Yeah, a lot of things, you know, individually, um, you know, wanting to, keep pushing myself to, you know, reach, reach higher and higher things. If it isn't, you know, all NBAs, if it isn't MVPs, um, team wise, it's, it's winning a championship. I think there's nothing above that. And, you know, you've heard me say that individual things come with winning and the better and better we get as a team and I keep pursuing myself to get better as a player. I think those things can match up. And, and just one more for me. Um, thanks for doing this today, by the way, Patrick Williams, we all know that he's big to you all's future. Um, yeah. What is your, perception of what he means and, and how much you all need to rely on him to take that next step. I mean, do you see it that way or are we kind of making that up or do you really need him to come into his own next season? I think every player should try to take a next step. It's not just Pat. Everybody on the team needs to take a, take a step. You know, one, you can't just try to put one guy to take a step. That's great. That's going to continue to work on this game and get better and better. He's out here right now in Vegas working out, you know, early in the morning. He's been to California. He's been to Chicago. So, you know, Pat's working on his game, but everybody on the team needs to take a step, you know, even from the from the, the best guy on the team to the, you know, the 12th man, you know, you need to take a step and upgrade your game. And I think that's how teams get better. Thank you, Zach. Josh Hicks, go ahead. Hey, Zach, how you doing? Congratulations on your deal, man. Thank you. Um, obviously, I know you're aware of, Andre, you know, the Bulls signing new players to your team, Andre Drummond, Juan Dragic, et cetera, um, and the rookie uh, that they drafted, Dalen Terry. I was wondering if you've ever been in contact with those guys and what were those conversations like since uh, they signed on, signed on and been drafted to the team? Yeah, I gave Andre a text. Um, he's extremely eager, very excited. He was trying to come out to Orange, Orange County and work out with me. Um, I uh, met Dalen Terry out here, uh, very excited, very competitive kid. And obviously, you know, no one go on and text him before, uh, gave him a congratulations text. So it's uh, it's good, man. Obviously, you got to get to know your teammates soon and, you know, just want to get that that chemistry going, but also just welcome to the team. All right. Anybody else got one for Zach? All right. Zach, that's it. Appreciate your time today. Thank you very much. Thank you.